Hey everybody, so I just want to put a quick disclaimer on this video. Just want to let you know that this video was filmed about two weeks ago in our last trip to downtown Disney. Uh, unfortunately, like I got busy, life happened, and I didn't get around to editing and posting this video until now. Uh, but I just want to let you know that this is not a current reflection of the conditions of downtown Disney as they are right now. Um, due to the recent shutdown and you know downtown Disney having to close all of their dining and change some of their capacity and rules and all of that. So again, just know that the video is two weeks old and it is not an accurate reflection of the current conditions of down, down, downtown Disney. So check out our visit to downtown Disney and I hope you like this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Part Time Adventure. So we are back today at Downtown Disney. Uh, we're here just to kind of walk around, hang out. We're here just to walk around, hang out, uh, just do a little sightseeing, maybe a little shopping. Uh, hopefully you get some better shots of Buena Vista Street now that it's daytime. I know we were here in the night last time. It was cool to see everything lit up, but it also made it kind of hard to see everything. So we're gonna get some better shots today in the daytime. And then just kind of show you guys what's going on. Last time we only did the left side shopping, like um, Five and Dime and Elias and Company and all the sides on the left. We're gonna try the upside and see what the shopping looks like over there. So if you guys aren't already, make sure you subscribe and like and then come hang out with us at Downtown Disney today. Alright, so we made it in the gates. There was no virtual queue today, just a standby. And we waited probably less than about 10 minutes. Alright, so we're gonna check out the Grizzly Peak area over here. We were here last time, but it was really dark. I had heard that they had pushed the rope back, like around the corner, but it doesn't seem to be the case today. <laughs> Looks way different and better during the day than it did at night. I mean, it's still a cool night, but you can kind of see everything a little bit better today. Yeah, about as far as we can go over there. Not much to see. But we're going to keep walking around just looking and seeing what else is going on over here today. This gift shop right here across from Soaring is not open. Yeah, it looks weird with nobody going in or coming out of Soaring. Yeah, they have this gift shop right here closed, and this little refreshment stand is closed. But one of my favorite props from over here is this Rambler that they have parked right here. With the canoe on top and all packed up like they were on family vacation. Kind of reminds me of how we used to load the car when we would go on family trips. But even though we can't go on the ride, at least we can see some of the cool aspects of being in DCA, at least over in this area. This is one of my favorite areas of the park anyway. So it's cool, we've just been hanging out here so far all day. Alright, and then I want to try to see what we can see a little bit here of Marvel Land, or Avengers Campus. You can kind of see... Spider-Man building right there, where the Spider-Man attraction is going to be, and then right here are like the gates, which is going to be some kind of entrance, I'm guessing, into the land. I don't know why there's gates, or like why they would be closed, but just saw another video that had like some overhead footage that showed basically the land is just about done. Uh, there was a lot of pavement that was up, and it looked like they were just about ready to open. So we 
here, definitely excited about that. Trying to see if I can get a better angle from somewhere. So right there, you can see like the top of it. And then the Guardian's Tower in the background right there. Right here, too, is a better angle. You can see right there where it says Stark. Right there. And then that's like a crane that Spider Man is supposed to be like swinging from, from what I've heard. So, pretty exciting. Can't wait for that to open. Hopefully, it'll be soon. I'm going to give just kind of a quick overview of Hollywood backlot area during the day. Well, it's kind of dark right here because I'm in the shadows, but you can see the red car trolley. And you can see back there where Monster Zinc would be. And over here where um, Mickey's Magic is. You can see the theater right there. Ward Wieners right there, no lunch from there today though. We just did that last week. And you can see the Disney Junior show, which is obviously not open. I'm going to check out some window shopping over here. These shops are closed. But they still have some window displays up. Which is new merchandise, which is kind of weird. Since they are not open. I think this is going to be another one of my bucket list items eating here at uh, Carthay Circle, something I've never done, but I've been wanting to do. So maybe we'll get to cross that one off soon, since they are open currently. It's a little on the pricier side, but from what I've heard, it's got pretty good food. I'm hoping before we go, we're going to go check out the construction site of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway since we just saw Avengers Campus. And then like I was saying, we did all the shops on the right. We're going to try the ones on the left, I think, today, but the lines look pretty long. So we'll see what we can get into. Okay, so we just found a cast member who's doing a scavenger hunt. So we had to find the number of the Red Car Trolley, which we already got, we were right next to it, 623. And then we have to find uh, the premiere date of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the name of Walt Disney's nine old men, which are his original team of animators, and a reference to Eddie Valiant from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So we are going to go see if we can find all of these. She gave us a couple of clues to some of them, but some of them I would have been able to guess. So the first, the next one we have to do is the premiere date of Snow White and the Seven Doors. So obviously I could easily Google it, but that takes all the fun out of it. So. If you guys didn't know, this right here, the Carthay Circle Restaurant, or Circle Theater Restaurant, is modeled after the original Carthay Circle Theater, where Snow White 
and the Seven Dwarfs first premiered. I want to say it was sometime in like 1938, 39, somewhere around there. I don't know the exact date, but it should be somewhere around here. So let's see what we can find. Oh, so we found it right here. At the theater on the night of December 21st, 1937, Walt Disney introduced to the world the first full-color feature-length animated motion picture, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The rest, as they say, are history. All right, so we found that one. Now we're gonna find the name of Walt's nine old men, or eight old men, or something like that. It was either eight or nine, I forget. Probably should have gotten the exact number before we embarked on our quest here, but we're gonna see what we can find. She said they were listed as art instructors because they were part of his original animation team. So my guess is there's somewhere on these windows, which has always had names of kind of the who's who's of, of Disney. So we are gonna take a look here and see if we can find those. Alright, so we just found it. There are the names listed of Walt's nine old men, which are the original animation teams. Now we gotta find the Who Framed Roger Rabbit reference on a mailbox. All right, so we got to go find our Eddie Valiant reference from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That's the last thing we have on this scavenger hunt. Well, this one has us really stumped. We have found a couple of mailboxes so far, but no references to Eddie Valiant from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. We're going to keep checking a little bit longer, but we're losing our daylight here. So we may not uh, complete this here. We're gonna keep searching around though for some mailboxes. Hopefully we come up with something. All right, we don't see any other mailboxes here, so. Well, I guess uh, she's got us stumped. We are gonna give up on that scavenger hunt. We got three out of four. Wanted to complete it, but maybe eventually we'll find it and then the scavenger hunt will be over and gone. So we found it. It's a little hard to see, but there's four mailboxes right there. One of them has Eddie Valiant's name on it. So now we're going to go back to the cast member who had the scavenger hunt challenge board up, and we're going to let her know that we did complete it. We did find all four items on her scavenger hunt. Well, we don't see the cast member. I guess that turned out to be the hardest item on the scavenger hunt. There wasn't any prize or anything. We just wanted to go back and be able to gloat and say that we had found everything on her scavenger hunt, but she doesn't seem to be around at the moment. Uh, while we were off doing the scavenger hunt, uh, Judy was in line trying to get in the shop, but when we got back over there, she hadn't really moved much, and the line was pretty long. So I don't think we're going to stick around for that. We were going to try to head over to the construction site of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. But now we don't have any sunlight left for that either. So I think we're just going to call it a day. We didn't do what we have planned. But we got to do something that was still fun. And very much brought the Disney magic back. So we want to thank that cast member who helped us with that scavenger hunt. And all the other cast members who were pointing us in the right direction along the way. Uh, so again, we did end up finding all four items. So at least we got to accomplish that. But it looks like that's gonna do it today from Park Time Adventures. Hope you guys enjoyed just kind of hanging out with us, walking around Buena Vista Street today. And then watching us try to run around and do the scavenger hunt. 
we didn't really do much so but it was still a good day uh, just kind of hanging out here the weather was nice so we had a good day today and uh, thank you guys for watching and make sure you like this video and subscribe